In the last video, we showed the existence of a proximal point after giving the definition. And now we continue by showing uh, those three equivalent, that those three properties here are equivalent, and we show the uniqueness of the proximal point. So first, um, the easiest is the equivalence of 2 and 3. So 2 is equivalent to 3 just by definition of uh, df. What does the f of p mean? That means that for all z in h, f of z is greater or equal than uh, f of p plus this uh, subgradient, which is 1 over gamma x minus p, in the inner product with the difference of z and p. So that's just the definition. OK, so now uh, what remains is to show the equivalence of 1 and 3. So first of all, Let's go from 1 to 3. So suppose that um, p is equal to prox uh, gamma f of x. So let this be. And let z in a, be in h. OK, what do we know? We know that um, f of p plus 1 over 2 gamma norm of p minus x squared is less or equal than, uh, since p is a minimizer, we know that, it's that this value is less or equal than any other value of this function. So in particular, if we choose um, lambda between 0 and 1, we know that if we, if we plug in f of 1 minus lambda p plus lambda z, then we get at least, uh, we get a larger or equal value here. So, um, this holds. OK, so now we can use the convexity of f uh, to obtain that this, this expression here is less or equal than 1 minus lambda f of p plus lambda f of z. OK, so uh, you notice we have f of p on both sides. That's, that's great. Um, um, plus, and uh, now it gets a bit trickier. Let's just reorder these things before we multiply out stuff. So we have p minus x here, plus lambda z minus p. OK. And this is equal to, again, here we have our stuff with f. So plus 1 over 2 gamma norm of p minus x squared plus, and now we have the inner product term, lambda over gamma, p minus x, z minus p. OK. Plus, um, now the other quadratic term is lambda squared over 2 gamma norm of z minus p squared. OK, so this is just uh, this expression expanded by the binomial formula. All right. So now we can subtract 
basically the left hand side from from both sides so uh, and we also know that this infimum here which is on the left hand side we have shown uh, that this is finite uh, in the last in the, we have shown this in the last video so this is a real number which we can subtract from both sides so we have zero is less or equal than lambda f of z minus f of p this goes away plus lambda over gamma p minus x z minus p plus lambda squared over 2 gamma z minus p squared okay and now if we divide by gamma so if we divide by gamma then all this gamma goes away this gamma goes away and this lambda uh, we divide by lambda of course sorry lambda goes away lambda goes away and lambda squared becomes la just lambda uh, then we let lambda converge to zero and we have zero is less or equal than f of z minus f of p plus one over gamma p minus x z minus p and this thing has still some, still one lambda in it so it goes to zero okay so what have we obtained um f of z greater or equal than f of p plus one over gamma and now we have to switch the order here uh, since we, we, are going, we, we are putting this to the left hand side here so x minus p z minus p so what follows is 0.3 okay so we have now shown that one implies three and two and three are, are equivalent so what remains is to show that three implies one Okay, so now what we have to uh, what we have to show is that any so basically oh, let's let's just write it down. So let z be in H. Uh, we want to show that uh, the point P um, minimizes uh, this uh, function here. So we have to show that it is. Uh, the, the function value for y replaced with p is less or equal than the function value for y replaced with any other value. Okay, so let z in h be this other value. So what do we then have? We have, well, f of p plus 1 over 2 gamma uh, norm of p minus x squared so this is this value here and now by property 3 this is less or equal than say f of z minus 1 over gamma x minus p z minus p plus 1 over 2 gamma p minus x squared. Okay, nice. Um, what we have to show is that, well, this is less or equal than f of z plus 1 over 2 gamma norm of z minus x squared. Uh, but, uh, of course, we, if we write this down, then we have made an error. Okay, so um, let's fix the error by just subtracting this term here again. And let's also observe that we have this p minus x and we have an inner product which contains x minus p. So this is, also, this is x minus p norm squared. Um, so we can combine those two 
So we have x minus p minus z minus p squared. Okay. And then, well, uh, what remains is we have we have also here made an error, so we have one over two gamma norm of x minus p squared. This is this one, minus one over gamma inner product of x minus p with z minus p. This is this one here, plus one over two gamma norm of z minus p squared. And we have to subtract this again, so minus one over two gamma norm of z minus p squared. Okay. Um, yeah, so what is this? This is still f of z plus 1 over 2 gamma norm of z minus, sorry, x squared. Okay, this one. Then we have 1 over 2 gamma, and now we have minus p, and we have minus minus p. So uh, we have no 1 over 2 gamma norm of x minus z squared, which we subtract here. So this goes away, minus 1 over 2 gamma norm of z minus p squared. Okay, and yeah, this is less or equal than. Uh, we can just ignore this term because it's this just um, certainly not positive. So this is less or equal than just the same expression without the last term. And this is exactly what we wanted to show. So this uh, shows exactly that for, for all z in h, uh, the, the, the function at, at p is less or equal than the function at z. Oh. So this shows 1. OK. So now we have uh, shown the equivalence of these three statements. Now uh, we have to uh, prove the uniqueness. So let P and Q be the two proximal points prox gamma F of X by Three, so we can use this uh, inequality here. So we have first of all, p is a proximal point. What does this mean? So we can estimate f of q greater or equal than f of p plus one over gamma. Here we have x minus p, q minus p. And now we have q is a proximal point. So f of p greater or equal than f of q plus 1 over gamma x minus q, p minus q. And if we add this, then we have 0 greater or equal than these things fall out. Um, we know that uh, we have a subgradient at p, so these uh, function values here must be real, also good. Um, so 0 greater or equal than 1 over gamma, and now we have uh, p minus q, for example, um, and then we have p minus q, x minus q, p and minus p minus q, um, so x minus p, so we have to subtract x minus p, which is equal to 1 over gamma p minus q. And here we have x minus x. So this is p minus q, which is 1 over gamma norm of p minus q squared. So we have shown that the norm of p minus q squared is less or equal than 0, which implies that p 
equals q. And this shows the uniqueness of the proximal points. So uh, we have shown that uh, whatever function, proper, convex, lower, semi-continuous, we are given, uh, whatever step size gamma we are using, um, or whatever point we are evaluating in, uh, the proximal point, uh, the result will always exist unique and satisfy. In particular, pop uh, property three will be very important um, for the analysis of our algorithms.